Well, hello, everyone. This is Byron King with Investor Intel, and we have a rare treat today. We're going to talk with Simon Ridgway of a company called Volcanic Gold, which operates in Central America in the country of Guatemala. And uh, Simon, greetings. Uh, I, I understand that you are you're in Vancouver, you, but your company works in Guatemala. Uh, for people who company are works not, in Guatemala, and I'll be down there again in a few weeks. Travel good. there quite a bit. Very good. So, for people who are not familiar, give give our listeners and viewers give them the the quick rundown of you know what what is Volcanic Gold doing in in Guatemala. Well, Guatemala is, a, is an exceptionally rich geological terrain for explore for gold and silver deposits, and one that's that's kind of under very very underexplored. So, I'm, I'm I moved into Guatemala initially with a company called Mal West. That I that I sold to, to Glamis Gold and and um, I found a number of deposits in the country back in the back in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. And then Guatemala, the government that got in power became anti-mining. You know they were against foreign investment. They were against mining. Um, so I I pulled out of the country. But I was there with Radius Gold at the time. I was the CEO, president of Radius Gold, and the founder of the company. So I held on to the ground that we had there because we, we, we drilled some holes in some prospects that I thought had a lot of potential, didn't get time to develop them. One of the mines we found, uh, the Tambo mine, I had a joint venture on with uh, Dan Kappas from Cass Kappas Cassidy, and he was producing gold and radius, which was receiving a royalty from that production. But when that got shut down by the government, obviously he couldn't justify spending any money in the country any further. So I held the ground and and um, went up working elsewhere with Radius. Then, so, well, th things have changed in Guatemala, I think, you know, in the past few years. And don't they have a new go government down there now? Yeah, about a year ago, a um, year ago, last January, a new government got, got in power that was pro mining. They understood that the people of the country need work, that all these people that are joining the caravans to go to North America, it's not because of the violence, as we read a lot, it's because. People want the life that we have in North America. They want a, jo a regular job. They mm -hmm. want to be able to go to work in the morning and, and feed their kids. And uh, so the government got into power, was pro-mining, pro-foreign investment. Um, so I didn't want to, Radius was, was busy with a number of other projects in Mexico, a couple of joint ventures and, and some interesting discoveries. So as opposed to diluting Radius shareholders on this, going back into Guatemala again, I decided to join the volcanic with joint venture Radius's uh, prospects in the country. Mm -hmm. So we have a JV with Radius whereby we have the right to win into 70% of the two granted concessions that Radius had, uh, which are the Harley and the Banderas concessions. And we also have a first right on all the other ground that Radius holds under application in the country, which is a good part of the Eastern Volcanic Belt. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, let's focus on that real quickly. Right. When you talk about the Eastern Volcanic Belt, I mean, a lot of people, most of the people probably watching this aren't geologists. They're not familiar with the geology of Central America, but there's a fascinating piece of geology going on down there with yeah, three absolutely. converging plates and you've got mountain building, you've got uh, amazing rocks and the, miner the mineralization is very, very rich. And why don't it's you tell us rich. about some of, the, some of the drill holes that you've pulled out of the ground down there? Yeah, well, 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 before we move on to the hits we've had on the Holly, I'll just touch on Cerro Blanco, which is a project I discovered some years ago and, and sold it to Glamis. I mean, that is being that is now being built by Bluestone, the Lundin company. Mm -hmm. I think it's grown to about three and a half million ounces, was a hot spring deposit. And then very rich. It's, um, I mean, I, I'm not sure that the grade on the new resource, but the, the underground grade was about 1.4 million ounces at eight grams. Um, and then there's Escobal, which is about, you know, um, about 100 kilometers from Cerro Blanco, that is a very rich lead zinc silver um, deposit that was in production. Um, and I think it'll be back in production again within within this year. It's owned by Pan American Silver. They bought it. The government shut it down in the anti-mining period. Um, and it's been shut down now for about two years. But I think we will have both Cerro Blanco and Escobar in production sometime, um, you know, in 2023. So there'll be two deposits and both of those, both of those mines are within 60 kilometers of the Holly property. So there'll be two mills functioning within, within trucking distance along paved roads. So this is kind of quite an exceptional location of the Holly. 
it has been a, a great discovery. We've been pulling holes such as, you know, four and a half meters of 139 grams gold and, and a kilo of silver. Um, there's been some phenomenal hits on the property. It's still open in, in various directions. And uh, we are presently doing a resource calc on the deposit. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to predict when it's coming in. We've only got about 25 holes into it to date. But just given the grades we've been hitting in the holes, um, I think we're going to have a nice high grade resource, a nice, a nice high grade starting resource. Um, unfortunately, we still have, we, are, we are having social difficulties on the Holly, and that's because some of the people from all those years of anti mining governments in the country have convinced people, some of the people, that mining is bad. So we're, we are working hard on the social aspects of the project, putting a lot of time yeah, yeah. into that. Yeah. What, just give a quick description. What are you doing to, you know, uh, rebuild the social license? Because well, we spend a lot of time in the, in the, with the people in the town. So the Holly property, for example, there's three small towns around the project. It's, it's, it is beside a fairly busy road um, and it would be an underground mine. So we spend a lot of time, one, having meetings with the townspeople, taking them to the hotel, having dinners in, in a hotel or in the, in the office you know, the warehouse where we are and explaining the process of exploration, what exploration is, what, what it means to the population if we have some success with what we're doing, that there'll be jobs in the future, trying to, you know, offset the, the, the negativity around mining that, that some of the anti-mining groups, that, that I, won't, I won't mention any names on that, but we, you know, that spread misinformation on it's going to take all their water, it's going to create this huge disastrous area. You know, so we, we try to educate the population on on what we're doing and what the what the outcome of will be if we're successful. We also spend quite a bit of time, you know, trying to resolve their water problems, for example, and, and putting time and effort into helping them with school, school the school buildings or things like that. You know, try to show them that us being there can improve their lives and not the opposite. Okay, so well you so you're an early stage explorer in a very underexplored region of the world with high potential. So uh, tell the viewers and listeners out there about, you know, about volcanic gold, your share structure, and uh, you know, what, what you plan to do. Right. So as I said, on the, on the initial discovery, Holly, we have, a, we, have a, we have a resource underway that I think is gonna come in very attractive. Mm -hmm. We have about 44 million shares out presently um, and about seven and a half million cash in the treasury. Mm -hmm. The the Holly property and the Banderas property are two concessions that were granted that Radius has held for a number of years that had some initial holes in. So we already had a, a bit of a discovery to follow up on, and that's just grown since we got there. But we have a large land position under application in the country. So we are evaluating the, the, all of those. And this was done by Radius did a whole lot of regional geochem across that whole eastern volcanic belt the one that is as prospective as, as you mentioned. We covered that with stream geochem, did some follow-up with soils over a very broad area. So Volcanic is, is taking advantage of all that work and following up that geochemistry. And, you know, either pushing to get the concession granted on the, on the areas that we like or dropping the concession back to the government on the ones that we don't find so interesting. So far, beside the Holly and the Banderas, we've, we have found three very attractive um, early stage prospects that we're pushing to get granted in concessions. Mm -hmm. And we are working hard on the Holly property, trying to expand this resource that I think is going to become very important. It's very valuable answers we're finding because like I said, you know, there'll be 35 kilometers down the paved road will be Bluestones Mill, 80 kilometers in a different direction, W Escobal Mill, both producing you know, from the very similar rocks and very similar mineralization that we're finding at uh, at Holly. So, so volcanic a gold, a gold explorer in a gold-rich area in a highly prospective country that is very much underexplored uh, in the right place at the right time. Uh, with that, uh, Mr. Ridgway, we thank you and we wish you well to you and your company and everyone with whom you deal down in Guatemala. Okay, and thank you very much for the invite to to talk.